What's wrong now? I've seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? You know who. Getting too old for you, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional. Again. Don't even look me in the eye, but you'll look at her all day. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid, I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! So, Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Anybody there? You know, I think I like this spot better than Horseshoe Overlook now. <laughs> mm. 
Here, it ain't worth much. Nothing on this one. I guess I kind of feel bad for you. Good for you, I'll I take guess. It. Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside, all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more. But I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yep. Right, follow me. Whoa. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there. Sitting around waiting to be told, I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me, he said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How 
many times do you have to tell me? What, what's that box boy is tent for then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's gonna be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Will you get a move on? There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed the big pop the alarm and headed this way. Now a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right ah. here. Heads up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them.
put your hands up. Nice and easy. You saw what we did to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. Some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you we'd take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Go get up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Hey, it's over there. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just got a few other places out there like this. Oi.
What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I didn't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Why? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not Madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. Let's go, girl. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895.
Ledger, watch, pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. That's the old watch, now the ledger and the pistol. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us, and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Okay, where's all this old crap? Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. this place first yeah easy i'm just looking around for some things hmm. that old revolver yours <laughs> finders keepers ah son of a bitch oh god damn it, damn it. come on then where are you going come on
crystal. Uh, just the ledger now. God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. France. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. your ledger a list of slaves uh. rewards january 15th betsy 17 dollars january 18th louise 12 dollars may 18th wilfred 18 dollars may 24th minnie and child 20 dollars
about us. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just, it's all, it's all going to. Hell. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do you... They are for Dude, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Oh. Too smart sneaking up on a fella at night. Yep.
friend. Okay, mister? Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Or you need to suck the venom out. Drink this. It'll help. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I can repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Don't much like it. Out here, no more. Uh... Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? You'll be fine. Girl. to you. Better not rub off on my pants. <laughs> 